Director at CROSS, which is the Center for Research and Open Source Software at UC Santa Cruz. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to share with you our thoughts on amplifying university research impact with open source. Over the next few minutes, I will highlight some of the lessons we at CROSS have learned over the last six years and provide some examples of successful strategies that involve industry, academia, and the open source community. Now, universities are really good at producing papers and graduating students. However, research prototypes do fall by the wayside. You can see this when students get their PhDs and their research prototypes are simply abandoned because the student moves on. Yet these research prototypes often include innovative software gems that can significantly, significantly amplify research impact. These software gems have the potential to apply research results in practice, but may still need a lot of polishing before being usable. But no one comes to take on that work. No community has been built to maintain the work, and there is little support available for the PhD graduate to keep working on it to build a developer community. Now in this talk, I will present some strategies on how we at CROSS were able to build open source communities around these software gems, have them aligned to software eco ecosystems that industry depends on, and make them so that industry can fit them into their enterprise. Efforts to leverage open source strategies to amplify university research has been the primary goal of CROSS since its start in 2015. CROSS was established after UC Santa Cruz alum Sage Weil gave a transformative gift of $2 million to UC Santa Cruz. CROSS has raised an additional $2.6 million from industry partners through annual membership fees over the last six years. With this support, CROSS has been able to support univers university-based open source work and amplify the impact of university research by teaching students how to productively engage in open source communities through our education efforts, funding high impact researchers that leverage open source strategies and techniques through our, uh, our graduate research fellowship and supporting through our incubator program work of recent PhDs, allowing them to build a community of developers around their research prototype. Now CROSS has supported four incubators led by recent PhDs with innovative ideas enabling them to build developer communities, attract a user base, and increase the impact, of out, impact outside of the academic setting. The notab one notable lesson we have learned from our incubator experience is that when these projects are able to leverage other established open source ecosystems, they are more aligned to ecosystems the industry depends on. They require less maintenance overhead and get adopted faster. As an example of this strategy at work, the cross-supported Skyhook DM incubator project completed a successful, heavily reviewed pull request to Apache Arrow. The result was an order of magnitude fewer lines of code to maintain compared to the original in-house prototype. Now the building of communities is vital to the health and sustainability of any open source project and the university based projects are well aligned to work with highly motivated students who are constantly under pressure to come up with realistic project ideas for classes, senior or master's projects, and even PhD projects. Project ideas are particularly valuable when they come with excellent mentors who are also top researchers and can help students succeed, especially if these project ideas are aligned to popular ecosystems and therefore meaningful on resumes. Our incubator projects have been a great source of these types of projects for students 
these students gain useful insight, experience, working on open source projects, while the mentors gain experience managing contributors. So students see our project developers communities. Another successful strategy is the creation of a platform that supports mentorships for students through open source projects called the Open Source Research Experience. Now, this program, otherwise known as OSRE, has been an effective way of engaging industry and other outside sponsors interested in open source projects at UC Santa Cruz. Now we recognize an, we recognize an opportunity to leverage interest from industry and support our contributor communities and provide students a chance to productively engage in open source communities. Also creating more opportunities to amplify our projects impact through the, OS, through the OSRE which we officially launched in 2020. This program enabled the creation of an open source marketplace of ideas, a platform that matches up students and mentors while also curating the marketing, curating and marketing our open source portfolio to industry and other potential sponsors. Now the OSRE borrows from the model of the Google Summer of Code, GSOC, which CROSS has participated in since 2017. But the OSRE adds a sponsorship layer for collaborations with industry, foundations, and government. Like GSOC, our research experience program allows mentors to advertise project ideas to students. The students and the mentors have an opportunity to assess whether their collaboration will be a good fit to if prior to the start of the student project. And this, which has meant that we see a very high uh, project success rate and valuable contributions to the relevant open source com uh, communities. The project ideas page can be used by any University of California researcher or their collaborators. Now this results in a range of topics and a variety of potential stakeholders who can benefit. The OSRE is open to students from all over the world. And through our participation in GSOC and other mentorship programs, our ideas list is publicized to a wide range of potential student contributors. The OSRE provides a marketplace for outside organizations, including industry partners, to find projects they want to support and potentially collaborate with. Now, potential sponsors from industry are attracted to this platform because it allows them to engage with researchers on projects they find interesting. They get to know the students who could possibly be recruits for internships or employment. And they get to find out about the open source research efforts that provide the context for the project ideas. The OSRE has become a very effective method for matching these three stakeholders jump-starting developer communities in our open source projects, providing highly relevant open source experience to undergrads and opportunities for industry sponsors to engage with innovative, innovative open source projects at universities. Now, if you want to join the discussion about issues like how to support the amplification of university research or how to engage with universities to promote open source literacy, or how about the best way to match up sponsors, mentors, and students working on open source projects, please join us on our Slack channel, which is listed here, Open Source in Research. And if anyone's interested in specifically in the OSRE program or other programs that we have here at, we have here at Cross, and definitely if you wanna hear about our plans for 2022, please take a look at our website, which is listed here, or, or go to cross.ucse.edu and go look under programs for the OSRE program, or just give Carlos or, or me an email. Thanks for your attention.